What is up, boys and girls? Mostly boys. Mostly, yeah, let's be real. Mostly girls. dudes. Yeah. Tonight we're working on Matthew's new project. Oh. Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Who's whoa. this guy? What's going on here? He didn't disappear. He's I alive. For a little bit, we're doing SUV truck stuff now. That's right. Tonight we are just doing a few subtle mods and fixes. On, on my project GX470. Getting Matthew's whip ready for the battle of the daily drivers. Yep. Because that's all that we seem to drive around in these days. All right. You want to walk us through yeah, the mods? Well, I'm going to grab the camera. Oh, you're going to grab I'm going to grab the camera. Gonna grab, yeah, it's you your video. Hey, can you quiet down on set, please? Some of us are working here. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm trying to get to work here. All right, what we got? Whoa, right. bling oh, blau. Whoa. JDM bling and blau. Whoa, I don't. I don't like to roll around on stock wheels, so I went with a, a set of uh, Motegi the track light. I, there's a there's a model number in there too. Motegi TE 37s, baby. Yeah, exactly. Trail lights. Tra trail, trail, trail light, not track light. Oh my god. Cool. Yes. Um, I like the design of them. Um, I'm not really concerned that much with like strength, weight, or anything like that. We're just talking about an SUV here that's going to be towing a trailer. Um, they look awesome. They'll uh, they'll poke out an extra, I think, inch, a little bit more than an inch, because the offset is an inch itself, and they're also an inch wider, so an inch and a half, yeah, I guess. Tell them your offset yeah. specs, bro. Uh, stock is 17 by 7.5 plus 25, and these are 17 by 8.5 plus zero. So Dank nation, son. That's how they were able to get that concave. I mean, you look at the stock offset on these things, like. There's so much room, like it really, like it's crazy that, that I'm going to add an inch and a half of uh, of poke on this thing, and it's probably just going to become flush with the. Fender. I can't even get the tire; it just disappears. Yeah. So it's just for look, and, uh, and what else? Um, so also, there's let's let's look at the couple of the issues first. So I think this was old, owned by some, you know, an elderly folk, and, and they must have hit. You know, what are you, what are you saying? Old people children. can't drive. Are you are you dropping ageism right now on the channel? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Brian, you can leave this guy. Uh -oh. Unbelievable. I, mean, I could say things that are worse, but um, but yeah, they so, did some bashing. All right, so so bashing. so old people can't drive. Should we start calling out like races and they're uh, driving? I I didn't say it. Are you sure? You said it. I didn't say it. Set the record straight right now, Matthew. The internet thinks you're a racist. <laughs> I didn't say it. You, you said it. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Matthew. Brian, wait a minute. We're in. warriors now. All right. All right, now that I put you on the spot. Yep, and now my face is probably turning red. Oh, Matthew, it's okay. We're just keating. <laughs> There's, look at it. Look at this thing. It's got spots everywhere. You know, that, that must have been like a, a child or something. You know, Another typical chicken. stereotype. <laughs> it's just a child's height. <laughs> <laughs> This bumper here, look at this. It's All right. not looking good. It's it's just not looking. You ever see you ever see those uh those Instagram reels? This I, is this is not looking good. I don't this think it's not looking good. I don't think it's not looking this good. Out. That one. I didn't see it, match. No. I, tr I really good. tried to limit my, my hero, time. Moog is, is that was that was Moog's car from Mighty Car Mods. Moog. I love Moog. Shout out to Moog. Yep. All right. Um, Show us this bling so This is grill. not looking good. Um, and then the grill too. The Lexus emblem I had to take off for the new grill, but I am replacing the grill as well. And I blacked it out. I did leave some chrome because Quinn really likes chrome. I like chrome. I left my chrome grill on yeah. my on my Lexus and the chrome emblem. But let's let's show. Because we'll, I roll hard. Yeah. I roll hard like that. Yeah. This is, oh, this is little what we got. tease. Uh, it's just a replacement grill. One of the ones you can get off of eBay. And uh, I transferred the Lexus emblem, and then I, I painted the uh, the inside. I masked off this because I thought I think that without the the chrome around the edge, it probably would have been just too much black. I think that was a good move. What'd you paint it with? Classy. I painted it with uh, <laughs> black plasti dip. Get out of here! But it came out really good. Yeah. And I, I I laid it on thick like you're it, supposed to, like tons of thin coats. Internet, what do you think about this? Paint I think, what, why don't we look Brian, at what do you think? Can still peel this stuff off? Do you want to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, could, I could always change if I want. I mean, I wouldn't want to. Pay, I'd probably just rather. Pay I would never. Bucks for a new grill. Yeah. Literally, I would never. Yeah. Or just paint over it. Whatever. Okay. This is a tool. It's not a. 
It's not a Ferrari. Tools you know. for fools. But All right, what's fun. next? Oh. And then, but yeah, so we got the bumper. We got a bumper. Yep. Matt, you painted that himself too with Plasti yep. Dip. Yep, Plasti Dip bumper. No, this is one of those eBay bumpers where you can buy like 350 bucks, paint a match. This is the second one I've done and I'm, I love these things. Holy they, they smoke. They do a great job. Well, before we the mislead money. the internet fully, it's not perfect. Let's no, see. it's not. It's not. It's let's, get, let's get a closer to this clear. I mean, I would totally put this on my car. You can see the speckles in it. Yeah. I mean, it's way better than the po piss there. poor paint job I paid for on my Amuse bumper. <laughs> So, I and mean, it's, it's way better than what's on there right now, which is the whole point. Way better. So, yeah, we're gonna get going. All right, we're gonna we're gonna jump in. And Matthew bought TPMS off of Amazon, which I think are not gonna work. So, place your bets right now, boys and girls. Do you think Matthew's TPMS are gonna work on the new the wheels? TPMS don't work on the car right now, but after watching a few videos of like sync, like pairing these to the car, it could actually be the spare tire because the spare tire has a TPMS too and maybe that that pressure is low. Cause I checked all the pressures for all the tires are all fine. Bro, don't call your car fat. Oh, fat. Saying it's got a spare tire. Oh. <laughs> but I don't know, we'll find out. We'll all right. find out what happens. All right, let's, let's yeah, do we're, this. We're gonna get started. Here we go. Brian, closing thoughts. Let's do it, let's mount some tires. You getting close? Shh, shh, shh. Yes! Ooh. Just get that part. Nice work. Thanks. Come on. Come on, little gal. Oh, you care? Oh, there it is. Oh. Sometimes it's that easy. Easy as that. Easy as that. I like Real I miss bronze wheels. I haven't had bronze wheels in a while. I've only had bronze wheels twice. I never have. One time was very short lived. My FD came in bronze wheels, but they were like too weenie. Offset and width. And then a two five wear on the outside. I don't know if I would do that. Well, let's just see. If it if it's still at two five after this, then I'll I'll leave it. Alright. Alright, it's in the same spot. It just obviously wasn't enough weight. It must have been on the higher end of Yeah, it's close, but it's not. Pressure. Under pressure. Under pressure. I think it's on. So Brian. Yes. The world wants to know. Ooh, my knees. What have you been up to, Brian? Where have you been? I've been searching for life's hey. answers. I really miss you. <laughs> Still looking for them. Are you gonna start coming and hang out more with us again? I think I should. I think so too. Yeah. This feels we had some good times. It feels natural. This feels like family. I feel I feel like we have a good energy vibe here. Yeah. You remember those road trips that we went on? Oh, how could I forget? Canada, Virginia. Many mm. hours. Oh, look at that, perfect. Look at it. Zero down. Oh, I thought you were punching a fly. <laughs> <laughs> he was, actually. Oh, it's all spastic on camera. What? The, the, oh, the LEDs the are flashing like crazy. All right, we're good. Yep, sick. So, um, you know, while we have everything apart, uh, I figured I might as well throw some LEDs in. Um, these are actually a plug and play. These are, uh, these are the, the GX470 design is really nice. Um, they're not the bulbs where you have to actually like stick them in the enclosure and then they have like a separate connector mm. that connects on the outside where you have issues with like heat sink clearance and stuff from the, from the LEDs. These are really just a plug and play, literally. That's what we like around here. Yeah, yeah, you just, you twist them, pull them out, Plug the new ones in, they, they plug right into the connector. And uh, we'll show you the difference because we have them replaced on the passenger side, but not the drivers. Oh yeah. Big difference. Huge difference. I don't know if it comes across on camera how different it is, but. Well, yeah, no, I think it does. Stock poopy. Nice and updated. Yeah. LED headlights. Well, 
Snap Dizzle. That's pretty good, right? Looks like the JDM Overland rig. With, Although, I, I know exactly you what know, you're gonna, you know say. What I'm gonna say. Yeah, you, he, he thinks I should have gone bigger tires, and I don't even think he necessarily had to do bigger tires. Just like something that just looks more like all terrain. And oh, like, well, I will when they when those wear out. I will. Okay. As long as you're gonna do that, then that's all that matters to me. Yeah. I mean, maybe I will. I don't know. I mean, I, I will say, like, I was, like, always, like, on the fence about doing stuff like that, but then, like, when I put them on... You didn't really notice anything? I, I went, like, a five higher on the on the. Yeah, that's, on that's what I was thinking, too. And it wasn't that much. It, it Like, I just think it just looks just looks nice. Also, but these look good, too. These when look I, way better than stock. When I pull into my garage, there's, like, an inch, maybe, from hitting the, the top of the or the bottom of the garage when I it's mean, up. even if you even if you just get like the all terrainy looking tires, I don't yeah. think you have to go. I'm not into the whole like giant sidewall. Thing. Yeah, neither am I. I just think that like when I was shopping from, I couldn't get an exact sidewall match, so like I had to go. So maybe just an aggressive tread, right? Right, brown. That's what I mean. Just an aggressive yeah. tread, like would make these look like really balling. The bumper looks good. From yeah. here, you can't even tell. Yeah, for 350 bucks eBay painted bumper, like that's really good. I paid three hundred fifty dollars for a really shitty paint job on my amused <laughs> bumper, so I feel a little bit uh, slided in peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, I think the grill worked out well too. See, the fitment on these is like perfect too. It's like yeah. not even like I have more poke on my Lexus with a seventeen by nine with a ten offset, or maybe mine are nine and a half now too. I might have a nine and a half with a ten. And that's that's why. I well, you're they, you're a little bit wider. My stock wheels are 16 by 8 plus 50. 16. But I have oh, a 98 LX. Plus 50? Yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty. The wheels are actually really light for truck. Yeah, 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 they were. I remember that when we were yeah, swapping them like, out. What the hell? I didn't want to weigh I have, these because I, I had a feeling I was going to be disappointed. I think I have 18 by 9 and a half. That's what it is. I have 9 and a half with a plus 10 offset. So mine are probably more aggressive than this. Yeah. Which is fine. I mean, I just wanted a little bit more poke. They were just sunken in. I think it's. It's it's good. Well, this is perfect. I had to, I had to cut my bumper. Remember? Yeah, yeah, that's I had, right. I had to chop it down here a little bit. I mean, I, I I haven't driven it yet, but I don't anticipate it like having any issues. Do you remember that I had that 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 grind the the yeah. cutting disc yeah. like blow up and almost like cut my eye out? Oh, yeah, that was that. when that happened. Just cutting, just cutting the plastic bumper. I mean, yeah, I would have liked to do. It would be awesome if I could do like big tires and like cut the front bumper and do one of the metal front bumpers and like do a. A roof tent and like a, a rear ladder and like a rear rear wheel and tire on the back. I, I see like so so this is an unpopular opinion, but like what you have right here and like what I have right here like concave spoked wheels mm -hmm. like T let's just say a T T -E, T E style looking wheels for a truck and who cares it's a daily driver truck right like I don't want to walk outside to have my thing on eight crates and like my wheels stolen. Yep. Running boards. Yep. I like the running. I like running boards Everybody too. Everybody talks shit about the running. Well, they, like they get in the way for it's more clearance for off roading. Yeah, well, we're not off roading. I know. I'm not going to off road. I'm not pretending ones. to be an off road. I just think it looks cool. Like I like tactical looking SUVs. Yeah. So I think this is a cool setup. I like it. I'm happy. And the wood grain looks good too. I'm I'm super pumped. I'm going to do some nice nice shots outside. I can't wait to do some nice shots outside when it's snowing. I told you I was gonna buy. I wanted these wheels from my Lexus. They don't make mine. Yeah, this is a different bolt pattern. Five by one fifty Tundra. Your five lug? 
Yeah. On yours? Oh, I it's the same was... as the Tundra. Oh. Yeah. So that's why I settled with those, whatever they are, level eight or layer eight, level eight, level eight wheels. Mm -hmm. But like, I'm happy. I, I like my wheels. I'm, I'm happy. But I was looking for like a set of bronze wheels like this. Yeah. I think I, I was going to try to buy these, but I couldn't get my size. Yeah. For the price, I mean, they're just a great looking wheel. They look good. Yeah. I'm pumped. Yeah. You've done good, Matthew. Yeah, I mean, what would I put it like a, this is like a little over a thousand dollars that I just put into this car and it was like, that's it. It's hot. Now Brian's gonna go by next week. Wow. He's got, you got the uh, Jeep. I got a Jeep to fix. Oh shit, overlaying that thing. <laughs> Sick. I'm pumped. So yeah, that, that's it for this one. I wanna, I'll, I'll do some nice B-roll before I close this out. B-roll. But. B-hole. Brian, I got, I gotta say, it's really nice to see you, buddy. I know. Yeah. It's it is nice really to nice back. to see you. Right? Me too. Yeah. yeah. Sick. That's it, guys. All right. Done.